Hello, today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make a hooded baby bath towel. This is part of a whole baby bath collection pattern that I have for sale on my Etsy shop. You can check it out at www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash atelier joy. Your first step is to apply the interfacing to the wrong side of the hood fabric. Now you're going to be putting your terry cloth hood with your interfaced fabric hood. So you want to place the right side of the fabric piece uh, up against the terry cloth and pin them together on that long straight edge. That's where you're going to be stitching. Stitch that long straight edge with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Press that seam allowance to one side. Then you're going to close up that hood with the right side of your fabric facing out now and press along that seamed edge. Then you want to top stitch 3 8 of an inch from that seam. Clip those extra triangles off of the edges. Now you're gonna find the notches on one corner of your big towel piece and line up your hood on there with the right side of the fabric hood facing up. So you'll have the terry cloth of the hood up against the terry cloth of the main towel part. And you wanna pin all the way around that curved edge. Stitch that with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Where you just stitched, you can trim down the terry cloth portion to about a quarter of an inch so there's less bulk in that area when we go to bind it. If your bias tape is homemade and has an angle on the end, you want to trim that off to a right angle. And then you're going to wrap that bias tape around the edge so that the edge of the fabric and the hood, sorry, the edge of the terry cloth and the hood is all sandwiched really nicely in there. This is 5 8 inch bias tape that I'm using. Um, and I have another tutorial where I tell you how to make your own bias tape. You could use store-bought bias tape if you like to. Um, and you can even use half-inch bias tape, which is a little bit easier to find. So around this curved edge, you're going to want to pull that bias tape a little bit tighter so that you don't have a lot of excess fabric um, on the inside of the edge. So you see how I'm pulling it a little bit extra around there. The bias will have a little bit of give. That's what it's designed for. And you're just gonna keep binding and pinning all the way around the towel, the entire square. Then when you get to the end, you can fold under that edge and then sandwich the beginning of the tape in there. You could also just leave the edge flat, not folded, 
and it would be okay. It's not going to fray because it is on the bias, but I think it looks a little bit nicer to fold it over. Now you're gonna top stitch that bias tape um, about an eighth of an inch from the inner edge of the bias tape. And as you go around the curved corners, just take your time, uh, plant your needle as you pivot your foot and um, make sure you take your pins out so you don't sew over those. Stitch all the way around, meeting up with your stitching from the beginning of the bias tape and back stitching to secure. And there you have it. A hooded baby towel, great for a baby shower gift, great for your own little ones. Check out my other tutorials for the apron towel shown here as well as baby washcloths. You can find the link to the pattern and the Etsy shop in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy sewing!